1759, it's Guinness time. 24 hours a day on Sky by Mobile and SkySports.com. This is Sky Sports News. Fabio Capello's England beat Belarus 3-1 in Minsk. Good evening. England have made it four wins out of four. Their best ever start a World Cup qualifying campaign. We'll also round up the rest of the night's international football here on Sky Sports News at 10. Republic of Ireland scraped past Cyprus in Dublin thanks to a Robbie Keane goal. David Healy was on target as Northern Ireland won their first game of the campaign. 4-0 against San Marino. And reports in Spain claim that Liverpool's Champions League game against Atletico Madrid will now go ahead at the Vicente Calderon Stadium. First to Minsk, where England have made it four wins out of four in World Cup qualifying after beating Belarus 3-1. England opened the scoring with an early Steven Gerrard goal. Belarus equalised through Pavel Sitko, but two second-half goals from Wayne Rooney gave England a maximum 12 points from four matches. Emil Heskey went off with a hamstring injury and David Beckham came on as a substitute for his 107th cap to overtake Sir Bobby Charlton on the all-time list. After Belarus scored, make it one all very impressive. I think any game you win away, international football, you win away. Hard place to go. They don't get beat by more than one goal, this team, Belarus. Very good result. You, you know, you'd like to think now they've got one foot in South Africa. You know, they've got Croatia at home. If they beat them at home, you know, when that comes around, I think they will, I virtually think they're there now. I really do. It'd have to be a major, major mess up for them not to qualify now. So England at the top of Group 6, a maximum 12 points. And that is a five-point lead now ahead of Croatia, who beat Andorra by uh, four goals to nil in Zagreb. Tottenham's Luka Modric scored and also missed a penalty. Even Rakitic got two and Ivica Olic got the other. Ukraine are third. They are level on points with Croatia. I'd remind you, you can see the goals from the England game on Sportsline on Sky News from 10.45 tonight, Sky Channel 501. Republic of Ireland stays second in Group 8 after beating Cyprus. The Irish won by a goal to nil at Croke Park. Robbie Keane with the winner in just the fifth minute with his 35th international goal. Croke Park was being urged to clap for trap and they were applauding after only five minutes when Damien Duff got to work on the Cypriot defence. Robbie Keane won't score an easier goal. His 35th for the Republic and first at their temporary home. It was a great start too for Trapattoni, who picked a side being driven from central midfield by two Premier League novices. Darren Gibson of Manchester United and Glenn Whelan of Stoke. Cyprus did threaten an equaliser from a Duff slice, but Shea Given was in the right place at the right time to keep out Constantinou. Christophe couldn't keep down the rebound. The Republic's reply, McGeady's ball to Duff. McGeady was certainly looking effective down both flanks. He was an extra try as luck. Keane quickly followed. Another save for Georgia Lidis. Only desperate defending prevented Duff from bundling in a second goal. And though Doyle had the turn, he couldn't find the finish. Cyprus had beaten the Republic 5-2 a couple of years ago, but any prospects of another Croke Park draw for them were snuffed out by Dunn. The game really should have been put to bed by the Irish, but a series of good late chances were wasted. Doyle couldn't beat the keeper, and Cyprus very nearly took advantage. But Christoffi was kept out by desperate last-ditch defending, and it all means that Trapattoni's team have now taken seven points from nine in Group 8, and they have Georgia and Bulgaria to come, both of those at home. Jeremy Langdon, Sky Sports. It was a difficult game, we knew, we've experienced them before, you know, so we started the game really well, got the goal early on, but after that, you know, they, they worked really hard and the second half they had us pinned back for a bit and 
obviously, you know, we're trying to get the three points and trying to get through, so the, the nerves start to go towards the end. Why is this such a significant result? Is it because you didn't want that good work from the first two games in the group to go to waste? Yeah, that's it. I mean, for us to qualify, we have to take maximum points when we're playing at home. <coughs> It's only ourselves in Italy so far who have won in the group, you know, so it goes to show how tight it's going to be. And the more 1 0 games we can pick up at home, the better for us. Robbie Keane gets the goal and, and the glory, but how significant was, was Damien Duff not only on that move but also in the whole game tonight? Yeah, he was fantastic. I think any time he's not involved, you know, we miss him. He's got that little bit special where he can open the fences up and he proved it with the first goal. And, Throughout the whole game, his work rate is just brilliant for us. And what does this result do for confidence and the belief that you can qualify for the World Cup? Yeah, I think after the first two games, you know, we are very confident that we can qualify. And the more games we win, the, the more clean sheets and points we pick up, you know, it's better for us. And this is how the table looks now. Italy are at the top. They beat uh, Montenegro 2-1 this evening. Republic of Ireland three points behind, but they do have a game in hand. Bulgaria are in third. They drew nil-nil with Georgia, and neither of those sides has won a game so far. Well, Dyla won their first game of the campaign. They beat San Marino 4-0 at Windsor Park. Took half an hour to make a breakthrough, and David Healy opened the scoring, but Nigel Worthington side went on to record their biggest win for 13 years. Northern Ireland had the best of the early chances. Michael O'Connor going close. They did take the lead after half an hour. George McCartney's run, setting up Healy. He scored his 35th international goal. Healy then set up Grant McCann. Great finish from him, that was 2-0. And Healy was involved in Northern Ireland's third. His shot was spilled by the keeper, Kyle Lafferty, who was on hand to score. Looking worse for San Marino when Mauro hit out at Michael O'Connor and he was sent off. Northern Ireland made it 4-0 as Lafferty set up his uh, Rangers teammate Stephen Davis, his second international goal, but his first for three years. Could have been more, Gillespie's free kick was hooked back into the box, but Martin Patterson's effort was ruled out for offside. I'm delighted with the, uh, the scoreline, but more so the, uh, the professionalism of the performance. We did it in the right way, um, came in at half-time with a nice scoreline. It was important that we kept a clean sheet and uh, got to give, I said before the game we had faith in the players, attitude has been first class again and uh, yes it's San Marino, we'll not get carried away but it's nice to get the three points and a nice scoreline. Pleased to score, uh, more pleased for the, the fans tonight that we got a few goals, uh, I looked at one stage probably as if we were going to break them down, the says they were going to come and park the bus in front of the goal, I think they did that until we scored. Uh, but please, please for himself, please for the team, please for Kyle obviously uh, to get on the score sheet too. And, Oh, uh, convincing win then. They uh, kept their discipline, they kept their heads. The referee, I thought, had a very good game. He, he didn't uh, give anything he shouldn't have given. So, uh, overall, um, we've not people on a booking, hadn't conceded another one tonight, so that's good news for us. Alongside him? Yeah, Kyle's Ke one of them where he's, he's very unselfish. He, he works the channels, he wins his headers, he puts himself about. So, uh, I had that sort of combination with uh, James Quinn for uh, quite a few years. So. Uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm, there is competition for places. I know Martin Patterson's there, uh, Warren Feeney, Peter Thompson. So uh, you know, you've got to keep your head down, score the goals when you can, and or win the games when uh, when possible. That's how Group Three looks. Slovakia are top. They beat Poland 2-1. Couple of late goals in that game. They got nine points from four games. Poland second, level on points with Slovenia, who lost 1-0 to the Czech Republic, and Northern Ireland also four points. They have played a game more, and not surprisingly, San Marino are bottom of the group. Not such a good night for Wales, though. They lost 1-0 to Germany. Wales were on the back foot for most of the game, and Germany finally scored with 18 minutes to go. Peter Trukowski hitting a great shot from the edge of the box past Wayne Hennessy. Germany at the top of the group, 10 points from four games. Russia have got six. They beat Finland 3-0. They've got a game in hand over Germany. And Wales are in third with six points from four games. And then come Finland, Azerbaijan and Liechtenstein. In Scotland's group, Holland have gone top after beating Norway 1-0 in Oslo. Holland have a 100% record in the group after that victory. Mark van Bommel getting the winner after 64 minutes. Liverpool's Ryan Barber was taken off after 27 minutes with an injury. And in the other game in the group, Iceland beat Macedonia 1-0 to go third. Vega Paul Gunnarsson getting the goal. So Scotland are second, five points behind Holland. And Norway are at the bottom.